Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 9th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, got a good rest, ready for a wild week in the market that's going to include a CPI report and a PPI report on inflation. How about we take a look at what happened overnight? We had Asian markets, um, pretty rough day. Um, the um, Hong Kong markets fell pretty hard um, last night with some bad economic data falling to 1.42%. Uh, Shanghai also falling over 1% last night as the Nikkei dropped 0.48 and Australian markets just point. Two percent. Um, when we look over in India, India was just a little bit higher. When we take a look at European markets this morning, however, big difference. Uh, decidedly bullish this morning with the DAX up 0.54 percent, FTSE's up 0.60 percent, and the CAC is up 0.6 zero percent as well and then u.s futures are zooming here this morning in what's being described as a buy the dip um and not really any additional news they're saying but um really whipping to the upside in the overnight activity with the dow up 0.65 percent s p 500 up 0.68 percent and the nasdaq up 0.18 percent working to recover from a Friday's losses. Let's take a look um, other places in the market. First off, if we take a look at oil, uh, let's take a look at um, first XLE oil producers. They have had a pretty rough go after running up here into some price resistance and uh, a, a potential trend. Um, a failure here with a double top and you can see XLE falling pretty hard but we're trying to pick up here this morning OIH is lower here uh, substantially lower after breaking support last week and really running to the downside in those oil holders but this morning uh, taking a look at that we've got oil just a little bit higher this morning up 0 0.660 percent uh, excuse me 60 cents uh, not six zero percent 60 60 cents at 68.25 a barrel brent is up uh, 56 cents at 71.62 a barrel and then we have natural gas lower here this morning pulling back and gapping lower in the pre-market um, as we came back up to approach that high in the chart. One of the reasons um, energy is a bumping up is a Gulf Coast storm that does threaten some potential um, um, shutdown in um, that region of oil production. So kind of keep an eye on that. If we take a look at precious metals here this morning, well, our precious metals are, well, still uncertain. Um, we had gold bouncing around here dramatically on Friday. Um, right now, gold futures are uh, just flat uh, down uh, about a buck seventy here this morning so a little bit of bouncing around going on in there a lot of a, a lot of things happening on the u.s dollar here um with the the yen carry trade maybe kicking back up and they're suggesting could be pretty substantial um, in the coming days we're also um, seeing the big the massive short by china on the u.s dollar the yuan over a hundred billion short the u.s dollar trying to strengthen their yuan so keep an eye on some of these precious metals they could maintain quite a little bit of volatility if we take a look at um, silver silver um, also um, um, trying to bounce up just a tiny bit after selling off so strongly. This continues to be in a downtrend and not looking too healthy overall. And then we've got copper, platinum, and palladium um, also trying to move just a tiny bit higher here this morning. But not seeing um, anything significant in, um, in these moves to, to be a major concern today. 
if we take a look at cryptos this morning now cryptos trying to make a, a recovery after a rough friday um but bito trying to bounce up here this morning we've got bitcoin up 864 dollars a coin um ether being up 41.88 a coin this morning however we do have a litecoin a little bit um, uh, down this morning by 0.56%. And then if we take a look at our um, bonds here this morning, as you can see, TLT trying to pop out here on Friday, ended up pulling back. But now we have bond yields this morning um, actually declining just a little bit. We've got 3.69% on the twos, the tens, 3.75%. In the 30s, 4.05% as we continue to highly anticipate a rate cut from um, the Fed coming um, in the middle of this month. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at, well, I guess we've recovered all of the, the necessary things for um, overnight. How about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be, and set our bias aside as we take a look. Now, this morning, as you can see, big gap up here this morning. That's going to create a lot of emotion in the market. There's going to be a bit of a fear of missing out. Um, um, kind of thing here this morning with this big gap up but i want to warn everyone to be careful and be watching for the possible whipsaw when you get an overnight gap like this we can also have a pretty substantial whipsaw in the market as soon as the market opens so if the bulls can continue to push this through well you can see right in here this is a fairly significant level a price resistance in the chart and we'll be, want to be watching that if we can pop through there then there's that possibility we could come up here test the top side of this big black candle on uh, Friday and then maybe pushing on up here to see if we can test this resistance area in the chart now remember as we climb back up we're going to be running into this little bit of a uh, downtrending look in the diamonds so as we climb back up if we can pop through here that's going to be fairly significant we'll start looking at some resistance uh, resistance areas here and then climbing on back toward all-time highs now if the bears were to find inspiration well it's not that difficult to see that possibility of that pullback to retest these lows and remember retesting these lows means that possibility if we slip through there then we start coming back down to fill that gap here in the chart so watch that carefully could be some pretty big moves on the way here in the market remember we're waiting on some big data this week that could create some choppiness as well if we take a look at our spine this morning spy also big gap up this morning we're recovering this loss of support in the overnight um, activity so if we can continue to see that bullishness here this morning maybe a push up right into here into that resistance area right there push on up into here if we can push beyond that point well then i'm looking for probably up into this area now that would be a huge move first we got a break that uh, the top of that big candle there and then we would start moving progressing on up through here keeping in mind that we've got some pretty big resistance there in the chart and if we look right here the top side of that black candle is going to be that 50-day moving average one of the classic short patterns of the market is a rally back to that 50-day notice we've got a moving average squeeze here 
a rally back up there and that could I'm not saying it will that's the classic short pattern in the market what we call a blue ice failure in hit run candlesticks and right way options now if we take a look at our qqq our qqq big gap up here once again this morning trying to push us back through uh, notice we're breaking back through this resistance next resistance in the chart is going to be up in here let me pull that back just a little bit more and notice that that resistance is right across here and we start picking up all of these levels in the chart now breaking through that um, big black candle here in the chart if we can pop up through that area then we're going to start looking at some of these areas up in here to see if we can start progressing back higher in the chart you will want to keep in mind that as we progress back up here we got a long ways to go before we catch that 50-day moving average so once again we want to be watching for that potential blue ice failure and I would not rule out the possibility if we were to whipsaw today, we might um, reach this 200 day uh, moving average, um, be a common pullback to test that because we're so close to that 200 day. So watch that carefully. We want to remember we've got a bit of a downtrend here as well as we start progressing back up, we could run into that area and not make it back to the 50 day. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, then once again, I would suggest we might retest this support in here in the chart. Let me pull that back a little bit more. You can see that support runs all the way back over here and then pushing on down to retest the, the low of Friday. Breaking down below there, well, once again, I think that possibility of testing it, its 200 day moving average is certainly there. there um, if those bears were to really engage and it may not be um, until we rally back before that occurs but watch carefully for that possibility also want to keep in mind that overall we've got this downtrend here we will not confirm the downtrend overall unless we take out this low that we had in august and remember it was that carry trade that caused that problem and that carry trade worry is now starting to pick back up here again um, uh, the Japanese carry trade if we take a look at our um, IWM well IWM also um, if those bulls continue to find inspiration here on the day notice we've got a pretty big area of price resistance right there on that red line so if we can push back up through there and this trend then we would start working our way up to see if we can break that big black candle in the chart and then working on higher here to start coming back up and seeing if we can come back up and test these bigger areas of resistance above if the bears were to find inspiration well not that hard to see um, right in here we could test that retest that low and then start progressing on down through these levels in the chart if the bears were to continue to uh, gain some strength remembering that we've got a little bit of a downtrending um, a lower high pattern in here to be paying attention to and that a rally back above friday's big black candle pushes us right back up into that blue ice failure potential pattern in the chart let's take a look at our vix our vix popped um, a little bit higher there on friday you can see we seesawed around in here what's going to be critical in here is this support if this bullishness that we're seeing this morning pushes us back down in here to test the support that would not be a surprise what might be a surprise if we were to carry on through and push right on lower in the chart that would put bulls back in control um, of the market and suggest that there's no fear um, or that fear is dropping out of the market pretty substantially and then we could even come on back down in here to test some of these lows in the chart if however we um, were to find some reason for bearishness here in the market holding this support in here could be critical 
because that creates that higher low in the chart and that's really where selling can pick up that higher low or to hold if we take a look at our t20s our t2122 indicator well this gives us our best hope of that bounce we're we made it down here close to the bearish reversal zone but obviously this has been a pretty substantial pullback and just a reminder everyone I, I was warning and warning and warning that we can linger up here for a while but to remember the longer and longer we linger in an area like this the pullback can be substantial and hard so if you remember I kept warning raise your stop losses make sure you're protecting yourself here in the market t2122 can do that for you now unfortunately about the only place you're going to find the only place you're going to find t2122 is in the tc2000 software which i use or of course in the morning prep videos which i show this every single day so pay close attention to that now being down here toward that bearish reversal zone does give us that hope of that relief rally but like i said with a gap up overnight we might want to watch for the potential whipsaw in that market but if the bulls can find inspiration well clearly we've opened up a huge opportunity for a relief rally back to the upside this morning in the gap up open we're going to get a big move already um, in um, that relief and then if the bears were to whipsaw this or find additional um, bearishness coming into play then keeping in mind that we still have some room we can go all the way down here to the bottom in t2122 and we can also linger in the bottom we've lingered in those bottoming patterns before as well so kind of keep that in mind if we take a look at our t2108 well t2108 had a pretty rough day on friday breaking on lower we've got about 37 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average but as you can see we've got a good level of price support in here so a little bit of relief bounce in here not a big surprise after such a strong sell-off so if we start pushing back up here in the chart um, I think that would be pretty normal with a little bit of relief it'll I guess what's going to matter is how strong that relief is and whether or not those 50-day moving averages looming over the top of us are going to have a negative effect overall now keeping in mind as we rally back up we've got some resistance levels in here to pay attention to and we'll certainly want to be watching this 50% area here in the chart that 50% area is going to be pretty critical to the psychological effect of the market to see if we can get half of our stocks at least back above the 40-day moving average and then if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 percentage of stocks above the 200 day pretty rough day on friday pushing down here to a major area of price support in the chart and just below 50 percent so about half and half on those stocks above their 200 or below their 200 so um, a relief rally right in here would not be out of the question once again i would suggest to watch for a whipsaw with an overnight gap like this but as we start rallying back up then start looking for these resistance levels in the chart as we reapproach those 50-day moving averages from underneath and then our t2101 well our t2101 had a little bit of breadth increase on that selling on friday but not so much as to be a major concern so um, you can see bears get a little bit emboldened when we're pulling back and we see that increase in breadth coming in so remember we've got a very short window here now by mid-month about 50 percent of all companies are going to be in their blackout period for the next round of um, earnings so keeping that in mind they've got a little bit of time to really put some effort into corporate buyback activity and after a big sell-off that might be a good opportunity for them to push in here so if we can see on this bullish wave if we can see breadth increasing that would be encouraging for the bulls 
the question is, will they be able to push back through those 50-day moving averages and recover some of those patterns um, in the market? That's still a big question. So watch that carefully here today. We don't want to see this rally coming in today and actually see breadth turning lower. If the buyers don't show us that momentum of breadth and this actually pulls back, well, that would really uh, probably encourage those bears to keep pushing. So watch carefully. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar here for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be paying attention to. First off, very light day for the beginning of this week. We've got wholesale inventories coming out this morning largely going to be ignored i think with this um big gap up that we're getting this morning treasury buyback announcement of course bond auctions and then a consumer credit report here at the end of the day that might be interesting to pay attention to if we take a look into tuesday also pretty light day um, small business optimism report we've got a bond auction here and treasury buyback um, results then we kick into the bigger news and the reason i'm bringing this up is we could potentially see this gap up this morning and then just see a very very choppy market um, as we wait for our cpi number coming out on wednesday then we've got a ppi number coming out on thursday so yeah buckle up um, we could see some volatility around those numbers and certainly the market is going to be holding its breath and fingers crossed that these numbers will continue to show that inflation is declining and helping the fed in lowering those rates uh, market seems to be very um, um very keyed in on the idea of maybe even a 50 basis point cut uh, we'll see if uh, these numbers would have to probably show some significant change in that inflation reading for the Fed to even consider that because that would be kind of a panic move by the Fed. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. And our earnings calendar really light on the day. We have just um, a few reports that are notable today. They're all after the bell. There is no notable reports this morning. So um, CVGW will be reporting after the bell today. Keep an eye on that. AVO will be in there. Our most notable of the day is going to be Oracle reporting this afternoon. So keep an eye on that. And RBRK this afternoon will be reporting and yeah, somewhat notable. So kind of keep that in mind. Not much activity there on the earnings calendar to inspire. Um, one of the things that I also wanted to remind everyone is today at um, 8 p.m. Eastern time in our free trading room, just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website right at the top of the page. It has a free public trading uh, um, room, uh, the free public room. And if you come in to there tonight, I'm going to be talking about the pop out of the box pattern. And by the way, I'm going to be showing you some stocks this morning, stocks that could be setting up that could be in that pop out of the box pattern. I find it to be a very, very effective pattern, pattern very useful in my trading. Um, so um, just, um, well, love to see you there. Invite your friends, free to the public, come on in. I'll do my best job in helping you uh, identify that pattern and how you might trade it tonight. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this um, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. 
I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, just a big shout out to anyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed. Thank you so much, everyone. And also those that continue to support the Kent channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. Let's take a look um, at some of these um, charts that could be setting up for today. And remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful in this market. Follow your rules and your risk tolerances and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at Roast here. I placed an alert here on Roast and, whoops, sorry, that's a two day. And it popped in here on Thursday and then ended up pulling back on Friday. So this is gonna be a real critical decision here in this chart. Are we going to break this price support in here? You can see a little bit of bullishness coming back in in the pre-market or are we going to continue in this consolidation or even see that potential pop out notice we've got this upside move was really really strong so if those bulls could come in here and push this back up i would be watching a breakout up here in that potential move to the upside again don't be surprised if this has to rest a few days be willing to wait for the trade be willing to wait for it because if we were to run into some kind of stumble and we break that down this way you don't want to be holding this so just wait and see if that trade can push on through to the upside um taking a look at juniper now juniper was one of those i was watching up here for that potential breakthrough to the top side. Unfortunately, not looking so good here. Um, Friday really carried this um, on lower, so and breaking this uptrend. So this one comes off the list, and right now when we break a trend like this and break a major support, what I wanna be watching here in Juniper would be that potential rally back, and I would be watching for that lower high failure potentially in the chart. The only way this can become bullish now, um, at this point it has to recover, hold, and then show me bullishness following through beyond that point. So watch that pretty closely. Take a look at Fastenal. Fastenal is another one that I was watching for that upside move here, the bearishness of the market pushing us back down here. Um, let's also take a look at our moving averages here. We failed below the 250 day moving average. Notice that the 50 is underneath the 200. So because of that failure here in the chart, this, this breakdown in here, although we've got kind of a morning star pattern pushing us back up, I would be watching this downtrend area here in the chart for that potential failure on down might be looking for a short. And remember, um, I'm showing you a few short potential trade setups because the market is not looking all that bullish. And remember, if we looked at the as we looked at those indexes, any rally back up toward those 50 day moving averages, we have to start looking at those possibilities of failure. So if we can relieve some of this selling pressure, push us back up to some of these down trending areas, then watch for those potential short patterns to occur. Take a look at FedEx. Now FedEx was setting up a really nice bullish pattern right here, trying to move on through to the upside. Now, once again, we're pushing back down to maybe test this trend and keeping in mind, we could still hold in here, but the only way this can become bullish again is we've got to push this back up and hold, and then we can start looking for that upside move. Remember, what I'm drawing out here is an upside trend. Right now, we cannot prove that upside trend because we have not been able to hold any kind of upside support in the chart. So watch carefully on that. Um, places that we are seeing quite a bit of bullishness is in defensive sector stocks. Um, defensive sector post, uh, pulling back the last couple of days here in the chart, coming back to trend, I would watch for that next opportunity in here for that pushback higher. Take a look at like Altria, nice little two, three day pullback in here, coming back to trend after this big run to the upside. I would watch carefully in here. We've got a resistance area in the chart. If those bulls can step right on in and you can see they're pushing here in the pre-market, 
pushing this right on up. We might be testing all time highs in Altria here before too long. Um, you might want to be taking a look at some of the um, stocks like uh, John Deere. Now, although John Deere pulled back the last couple of days, this is a pretty modest pullback compared to the rest of the market. John Deere holding some bullishness in there, holding that little upside trend. Clearly, we've got some resistance here to deal with, but if we can push this right back up, I would be looking for maybe an opportunity to the upside there in John Deere. Now, when we take a look at some of our big tech giants in here, first off, I want to remind everyone that Apple will be doing its um, big show for um, their product release of the iPhone 16. I believe that's today. I think it's like uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time or something like that, that that's going to uh, go off. So um, be watching here for this. We can see some volatility in this chart. But I want you to notice that these patterns where I'm looking for that bullishness to come into the chart, when they fail and break this support, well, we can rally back and then show failure. So watch that carefully here on things in Apple. We've got um, AMD that it's obviously trailed um, substantially lower. Any rally back could set up a potential short rally back into these resistance areas of the chart. And then we just follow that downtrend. So keep an eye on that. Google really had a rough day on Friday, uh, breaking down below this major support level. So this gap back up this morning as we try to rally back, I would be watching for that next area of opportunity for that potential short here in Google um, as we move back into that downtrend and notice that this is a big long-term trend break in Google. So keep a close eye on these and be really careful about just racing and chasing into some of these stocks. They really could um, end up going uh, south if the market cannot find that energy to push us right back up and we can't shake off some of this slowing economy situation that we're seeing here in the United States. And not just here, it is really ugly in China and it's getting ugly in Europe. So be careful and watch carefully for these potential moves in the market that could lean to the bearish side. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have an awesome day. As always, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care, everyone.